cactus and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little video about all the round shaped cactus plants that I have in my collection. Now this is a special video request from my wonderful friend Agave Allo on Instagram. So hi Agave Allo, she loves the round shaped cacti and whenever I share photographs and of the round shaped type of cactus plants I have on Instagram, she always says, oh I love, I love your round shaped cactus. So I said I'd do a special video showing you all the, the round shaped varieties of cactus plants that I have here in the, in the polytunnel. Now, the reason why I'm saying sort of round shaped rather than bowel cacti is because the word bowel cacti tends to refer to the big golden bowel and also the ferro cactus types of cactus plants such as these ones here. So by saying round, I'm covering all of the different types of genus of cacti that grow globular with a round shape. Now, cacti are a little bit like people. They come in many different shapes and sizes. And a lot of cactus plants may start off growing round when they're young. For example, I'll just show you this here before I go on to show you the collection of round cacti I have. This is an Echinopsis subdenu data, one of my partner Hanses. And uh, they always start off globular, such as this one here. And, uh, and also here, like in the clusters. And then as they grow, as they mature, they can grow columnar, such as this one. So not all round cacti will, will always be round. It just depends on the genus. But I'll just talk about the genus of round cactus I've got, because I've got them pretty much in some type of order here in the polytunnel. And uh, here's all my Apuntia prickly pears. They're definitely not round. Although the pads often start off round, I suppose. But um, more like sort of flat round so I won't be including these obviously. I'm going to start off with the most common globular round cactus that's most commonly known as the bowel, golden bowel cactus and this is my very large, um, well it's not massively large compared to how big they can grow but it's large compared to when I first got it. This is my Echinocactus grusoni, commonly known as the golden bowel. And it's one that I've had for about 26, 27 years. I got this from um, a beautiful uh, seaside resort in Devon. And uh, it was just a little small tot, tot plant at the time and it's grown very large. It does need to be repotted as it's hanging over its pot. So that's going to be a repotting video this summer. So do stay tuned for when we repot that. It's going to be fun and games. And uh, here on this table, lots of globular type of cacti. That majority of them would be um, Echinopsis. But I have got some more Echinocactus as well here. These are also a Grusonis. But these are the, um, the variety... These, these are the sort of the white spined variety. In fact, I've got the label here. So uh, Echin Echinocactus Grusoni cultivar Pachyspinus. And uh, they're not the completely white spine variety, but they are, they are a lot whiter spined than the typical golden uh, spines of the golden barrel. So two of the same varieties here, absolutely gorgeous. And this is another Grusoni I have as well. And this one is actually a white spined one that we've had a few years as well. Although it's sort of looking more golden, I have to say, than, than white. But it, the spines are still a lot whiter. And this is another one as well, white spined. And the reason why it's gone black at the top is it, it did have a few, few years ago, I think it had a case of spider mite and we treated it. And it's gone sort of black, black at the top. But it is, it is... Well, it's starting to also form pups at the top as well, as you can see there. This is going to pop out and grow into an amazing specimen, so it's pretty much okay. And I'll just check if I've got any more Grusonis. I have. I'll show you this here. I'll show you the Grusonis first. This is another Grusoni, and this is the Inermis variety, which is the totally spineless variety of the Golden Barrel. So it doesn't have any spines, so it doesn't bite. Beautiful, beautiful um, Echinocactus Grusoni variety. So that's the Okino cacti and then I'm going to show you the Echinopsis here and we have a mixture of quite a few different types of Echinopsis as I say way too many to show you the individual ones but just show you that they are very round and globular and they certainly start off like that as well and this is another wacky one this is a an Echinopsis um, 
uh, yeah, Equinopsis subdenue dart I've had for years, and that's also got a case of mealybug a few years ago, healed over and it's grown the other pup on the top. So it's wacky how they grow. All different varieties, many of them coming into bud here, which is really exciting. This one has recently been blooming. Loads of buds on all the different types of Echino, Echino, um, sorry, many different types of Echinopsis. Uh, for example, Echinopsis tubiflora there. And um, buds just starting to, to develop on many of these as well, which is very exciting to see. And these are all little Echinopsis subdenue darters that I've grown from seed as well. Little cuties here doing very well. Different types of Echinopsis pups here different varieties that I've, I've often been gifted from other growers here in, in Belfast from the Cactus Society. Many different types here. It's another Echinopsis. Don't have the idea of this but it's a lovely white bloomer as well. And this one also don't have the idea of this. Now as I say this is a perfect example of how some round cacti such as Echinopsis start off round and as they age they do grow more columnar such as these two here so do bear that in mind if you purely want just round cacti but it does take many years for example 20 years or more for them to grow columnar so you have got a long time to wait and here more subdenue darters there and i have my astrophytums here this is astrophytum um Mirio, no, Astrophytum Capricorn, cross with Mirio Stigma, and uh, this one is Astrophytum Ornatum. They were both very globular when I got them over 26 years ago, and as you see, as you see, as they mature, they also grow more columnar too, as uh, this Echinopsis Oxygona, and here, this is one of my absolute beauties, and I think Agave Aloe, you love this one too. Um, this is uh, Parodia magnifica, also known as Notocactus magnificus. And it's, this is one I got as a little pup, probably the size of this little one here. Many years, again, probably about 20. So I was in my early 20s when I got these. So over time, this has popped out like crazy and got very large, but it still stayed quite globular. And it's an absolutely beautiful specimen, produces the most gorgeous golden flowers in the summertime. No, no buds on this yet, but there's still plenty of time. This usually sort of blooms from the July and August into the September for me. Another one here, another Parodia Magnifica as well. And as you can see, this one is also growing sort of more columnar as it ages, as is this old one here. Another one of my oldies. This was also very globular when I first got it, and that's also growing quite columnar. Another Echinopsis there. And I have to show you this, it's not a cactus, it's actually um, a succulent, Euphorbia, Euphorbia harida, but because it's quite globular as well, I just have to include it. It's very cactus-like, even though it's not a cactus, and that's also coming into little bloom as well. More little Echinopsis, another little Parodia, this is a Parodia Lenin Housie. Again, when it's a pup, it starts off globular, as it, gr as it gets older, it grows very tall. And uh, here, mixture of a few different things here as well, some Echinopsis, some Parodias. And uh, now I've got some that are sort of globular, some of the Raybutias as well here, but they also can be many different shapes as well, and also can grow sort of, they're, they're compact growing plants that cluster out, but they can sometimes grow a little bit more columnar as well as they get older. And here again, these are not columnar. Not these anyway, these are all my peanut cacti, Camaceras libivia, Camaceras, Cama libivias, and the like. Now, here I have some more globular cacti, and these are Parodias, also known as Notocactus. Notocactus ubermanius here, and Notocactus rosiletius. This is another uh, Parodia, Notocactus. I don't have the idea of this one, but um, it's a lovely globular one as well. And uh, here is another Notocactus rosiletius, again, sort of growing a bit more columnar as it's ageing. One I definitely have to repot this year because it's also bulging out of its pot. I just want to show you some echi, echi, Echinocerius subinermis as well. And that one is also very globular, but a lot of the subinermis sort of grows more, more sort of columnar as it ages as well. Also desperate for a repot. I'm going to be very busy this summer, guys. And here is the probably the most commonest type of round type of cactus plants. The Mammillaria cacti. And I have a selection of many different types. Now, not all Mammillaria cacti are globular. Some of them 
may start off, as I mentioned, like the echinopsis, they start off globular, and as they get older, they do stretch up and uh, grow a bit more columnar with age. For example, here, this is a um, Mammillaria spinosima, red headed Irish man, and that's sort of when you first get it, it, you get it like this, like a little pup. This is a seedling from our Mammillaria spinosima, it's very globular and small, and as it matures, it then grows more columnar like that. But uh, here there are some of the mammillaries that do always sort of stay globular. This is Mammillaria hanihana, a beautiful, beautiful, hairy, lovely variety there. And uh, here, Mammillaria as well. This one is Mammillaria plumosa as well, because a clumping plant into little clumps. And this one is another Parodia I have there. And this Rebutia, this is Rebutia, Rebutia um, albipilosa. And that sort of grows into little clump round, little balls of clumps as well. Very beautiful. And more mammillarias here as well. Lots of different types, but they're very much round as well. Great, great cactus plants to grow, as you can see there. But again, many sort of grow columnar as well as they age. And then here I have my um, Gymnocalicium and Ferrocacti. And they are very round plants. And they do tend to stay round as well and a mixture of different types on here. Some gymnocalisiums, many of them coming into bud um, and coming into bloom. This is my gymnocalisium Maya Vinci, and that's got a lovely bud. So that's going to be blooming very soon, possibly today. And gymnocalisium here as well, lovely globular plants. Gymnocalisium tributensi, two big flower buds. That always produces amazing blooms, so very exciting. And different varieties there. Gymnocalisium baldianum, again, very globular some Parodias as well and uh, sort of mixture of different some ferro some ferro cactus and tello cactus as well all all on here mainly different types and then here the ferro cacti these are very uh, globular too now this one is sort of growing a little bit more taller but this is an extremely old ferro cactus that i've had who again for about 27 years so it's very very old as you can see, as it's, it's, it goes very woody at the base as it ages and then grows taller, but still pretty globular. All of these as well, all different types of pharaohs. Ferocious spines, pharaoh cactus, and very lovely as well. And this one here is an um, Acanthocalisium violetum, and that's beautiful. Look at that. Very gorgeous. I just love the spines on this. And they're sort of just uh, coming up as well. Loads of new spines growing on them. Absolutely gorgeous. So, and yeah, I have to show you this big one as well. This is my very big old ferro cactus as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. multi pupped at the top. Look at that. It's a big beauty. Gorgeous. And then here I've got some, uh, some fer another ferro cactus here. Absolutely gorgeous, wacky spined one. Very beautiful indeed. And here I have my... Um, Yet yeah, another ferro cactus as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous red spine variety there. And this is ferro cactus gracilis. Absolutely awesome beauty. Here, Neoporteria clavata. Absolutely gorgeous as well. Here, lovely, beautiful, uh, global round variety of cactus. Here, I've got my astrophytums. And astro I've got quite a few astrophytums. And I've got some indoors as well. And they're lovely plants, lovely globular, absolutely amazing spines on them as well. And then uh, more little astros, another Neoporteria. And uh, Echino, another Echino cactus cruce, only nude them, a little baby one there. And Turbinicarpus, Straw Body Day, a lovely one. And then uh, here. Obermania pectinifera, and that as well is one that does start off globular, but as it ages, it does get more taller. Very special cactus. Some tello cactus here coming into bud as well. They're globular, a lot of them, so very, very lovely there. And my Matacana palsy, that's a lovely globular one that's been blooming lovely, and I did share a video on that the other day. Loads of pups around it. More astrophytums. This one isn't globular, obviously. It's more more square, but um, it's still sort of squatty. And then I have to finish off with uh, all of the Lophophoras. I have many, many different types, and these are very round cactus plants, and uh, all all many different types of varieties here. Many of them multi-pupped, but they're all lovely and globular and round.
as well and I've done many many videos on this channel on my, my Lofafora collection so do go and watch them if you want to see a bit more about these uh, amazing wacky Lofaforas. and I think that's pretty much it I've got lots of little small ones as well little seedlings oh I mustn't forget I've got one very big one outside now this Echinopsis um, I think this is an Echinopsis Iris. It has lovely lilac-y flowers on it and although this is the main mother plant has not flowered for me the pups I've took off always flower it's probably because it has too many pups on it but this is a very old one I've, I've also had for a very long time I got it from a gentleman as well who had it for 25 years and I've had this now probably for about 15 years very multi-pupped uh, variety very beautiful so I hope you enjoyed the little tour of all my round cactus plants in my collection and thank you Agave Aloe for the for the video suggestion and um, if you if you haven't done already don't forget to subscribe you can also follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon and for more growing tips and regular articles and blogs on my, on my website do check it out Desert Plants of Avalon Dot com. And before you go, if you could leave a heart or a smiley face or a comment down below in the, the video, video comments because every comment really helps the algorithm. And thank you all so much guys for your constant support on my channel. I want to wish you all a fantastic cactus powered day!